Hello and welcome to the Toppy Blues, your source for all things Everton. Um, and I'm just going to apologise straight away. I'm sorry my hair is a mess, but the fingers, the fingers were clawing away at it for those like last, especially those 20 minutes or so. Um, like it was, you know, nails were being bit, and I was curled up in a ball. That was horrible those last 20 minutes. But the feeling now that we've got that win is just incredible. What a fantastic weekend to be an Everton fan. It's about bloody time we have one of them. Everything finally goes our way. Um, you know, obviously, obviously, everything to do with us is more important. The relegation battle, you know, Burnley and Leeds losing, us winning a massive game. First away since August, for God's sake, uh, in the league, that is anyway. Um, just absolutely brilliant. And what a performance again. Um, I don't even know who to praise first. I mean, we'll start. We've got to start with the Mikalenko goal. Um, absolutely, you could not be happier for a player to get a goal, especially a goal like that. Obviously, you know the few months he's had. He, he God knows where that that, that lad's head must be. Um, after everything that's been going on, and obviously, you know, getting a big move as a young lad into a country where he he can't speak a word of the language. And he's been absolutely brilliant the last few weeks. He could not deserve that goal more. What a goal it was. Absolutely brilliantly taken. World class. Catches it perfectly on the body. Brilliant finish. And that puts us one up after we don't start the game that particularly well as well. So could not have been more important that goal. Um, and that really got confidence flowing. Then, tiny bit of an error. You know, it, it happens. It happens, you know. Yeah, I mean, uh, um, Obviously, he, he, he didn't he didn't have the biggest contribution today. Well, I say that as in he wasn't on the pitch not long, but while he was actually he, very much, he did have a big contribution. He was pretty much at fault for that goal. Uh, it was a mistake from him, like a miscommunication between him and Coleman. Uh, but he does save us from conceding almost straight away with that same Dakar lad who managed to get through, got the shot past Pickford, and it was blocked by Mina. So... I don't hold too much against him. It's really frustrating again that he's got injured and hopefully it was just a precaution, nothing too serious and he can play against Watford, fingers crossed, because he is still going to be crucial. Because like I say, this is a great feeling, but we are not out of we are not out of the woods yet by any means. We need to keep just need to keep going. Like that, it's going to be the same every week. We can't rely on any result until it's mathematically confirmed that we are safe, which hopefully it will be now. Um that was one of the harder games we had to get out of the way. Watford and Brentford next, they should both be winnable. And if we win both of them, we should be good. Fingers crossed. So, but, um, so, I mean, and then obviously we retake the lead. Um, uh, you know, quite a fortunate goal, but, you know, you need that kind of luck when you're in a relegation fight like we are. Um, and that's just two one at half time. First half, bit mixed. I'd actually say Leicester were possibly the better side, um, but we were defending pretty well. You know, based on what King came on halfway through the half, and I kind of had to adjust and all that. I thought we defended pretty well, but second half, my God, we like I think, and I think we have to give another massive shout out to those fans, those those three and a half thousand fans or whatever it was making that trip to Leicester. And just singing their hearts out. It's all it was all you could hear on the coverage. Um, it's, it, I, I'm, not, I'm I'm getting very emotional just talking about it because, my God, while the team has has not been the best this season, our fans have really come through. And in a weird way, I could not be prouder to be an Evertonian because they dragged us over the line last week at Chelsea. Those fans that filled them to Goodison Park and. I think they are what gave us that boost and what ensured that we held on to that lead in that second half. I genuinely do. That last five minutes where they were just belting out the whole rendition of Spirit of the Blues over and over and over again. I genuinely think Lampard, we all know the famous story of when Howard Kendall was in charge in 1984, just before the, 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 the glory like really started to come in and we were in a bit of a rut. And we went to a game at Stoke in 1984, started 1984, in an FA Cup match where we really needed to win. And so many Everton fans made a trip to Stoke and it was all you could hear around the ground. And all he did for his team till before the match was just open all the windows and just say, 
you can hear that, can't you? And are you going to go and let those boys down? And and they didn't. We they won the game, and that was that was our kickstart. I genuinely think that's what Lampard did at half time. I think that was his team. I mean, and if it wasn't, it, that's all it needed to be. That was that was his team talk done. He just needed to say, "You heard that those last five minutes while you were out on that pitch. You heard those fans. They've all made this trip here on their Sunday, taken their time out, spent all their money, woken up at God knows what time to get there, and listen to them." That's all you need. Go out there and hold on to that lead. And they did. They all responded amazingly. Alex Awobi, in particular, needs a massive shout out because, oh my God, what a performance today. Easily our man of the match for me. Um, uh, and he's just, he's mental in it. He's just a man transformed. And that is probably the biggest testament you can give to Lampard so far. Um, because he was a man completely out of confidence, Awobi, um, and just could not, could not perform for us in the in the two and a half years or whatever it was since we signed him. And Lampard has come in, he's given him a new role, and he is just a man possessed. He has been superb, and that was probably his best game so far for us. Um, he just won every single tackle today. Just amazing to see. Absolutely loved it. Um, and again, another lad that really deserves it, in my opinion, because he's really put that effort since Lampard came in, and it's just brilliant to see. Pickford as well, again, that man deserves a statue, honestly. Like the last two games in particular, just coming out with these world class saves that are keeping us in it. And it is just, oh, what a feeling. The positivity at the moment is just. Or we just need it to carry us through these last few weeks. And the belief is really starting to come through that we can actually get ourselves out of this. And just what a feeling that is. <sighs> so, on to, Wet on to Watford on Wednesday then. They're obviously down. Not sure if that's going to help us or not, to be honest. Um, we've sometimes had it where we play against teams where they've got nothing to play for. And therefore, they've got nothing to lose, so there's less pressure on them. And obviously, all the pressure is going to be on us. But the way we're playing at the moment, we, we are de we need to win that game, and we are definitely good enough to beat them. Um, and that is where we're at. <sighs> what a feeling! What a feeling this is! Absolutely brilliant. That's all I can say, really. Um, and yeah, I think that's me. Everyone's been brilliant today. What a fantastic weekend to be an Everton fan and let's just carry this on through for the next few weeks and hopefully that's it draw a line under this build for next season right that yeah I, I, uh, I'm, uh, I digress but um, that has been me uh, if you enjoyed please leave a like uh, comment giving your thoughts on what our Lampard got it right today because I can't see how you can argue anything else. Uh, who was your man of the match? Because I'd say a Wobie, but there were many cases to be made for others, obviously, because everyone ran their socks off today. Um, and uh, yeah, subscribe for more Toffee Blues content and we will see you in the next video. Cheers.